good morning everyone so in this lecture so i'm going to discuss about a linear time systems invariant system so linear time invariant system any system suppose you are having any system it should respond for any input signal it may be x of t it may be x of n and it should produce y of t and y of n so generally what we see for any system so the system to respond x of t suppose x of t is change suppose so it should respond with a linearly and it should produce some output so whenever there is a input change the corresponding output should output should change right that is about a linear now what is about time invariant whenever the time of the input changes at that time only the output also change it's not it should not like suppose x of t is changing at 1 millisecond but y of t is changing at 10 millisecond after 10 millisecond y of t is responding so that is not a good system so whenever there is a change at the input at that instant of time the output also should change right whenever there is a delay for the input so same delay should be at the output that is the meaning of time invariant right so depending on the time it should not vary that is the meaning now how to find the system response suppose input is given y of t is given how to find the system response or system response is given and input is given how to find the output so one property or one uh, process is there that is called convolution process or convolution integral so for continuous time signals we will say convolution integral for discrete time signals we will say convolution sum now what are the formulas for this is to find y of t we have to convolve x of t and h of t h of t is called impulse response of the system now this is the convolution symbol and this is input signal this is a generally this is input response this is output response this is impulse response Similarly, for a discrete time signals, y of n is equal to x of n convolved with h of n. But we should see some expression, not like a symbol. Now, how to find a convolution for integral or continuous time signals? Y of t is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau d2. Now, any signal or uh, the x of t, suppose if it is in so there is a procedure for how we got this expression so that is not required now so just remember we have to delay the impulse response then we have to integrate minus infinity to infinity with respect to d tau right this is minus infinity to infinity is the limits similarly y of n is here this is a summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into h of n minus k now if two signals are given how to find the uh, the output response that we will see later but before that we have to see some properties of the this convolution integral or convolution sum so what is that property first one is the commutative property this commutative property what it says is x of t convolved with h of t is also equal to h of t convolved with x of t that is opposite also it's happen so this is like a into b is equal to b into a similarly x of t convolved with h of t is also equal to h of t convolved with x of t so the integral it will become like this minus infinity to infinity h of tau now it will become then x of will become x of t minus tau d tau similarly for discrete time signals also same in place of x of uh, k we will get h of k and in terms of h of k h of n minus k we will get x of n minus k one more is there that is called distributive property suppose x of n is convolved with some summation of two impulse responses that is x1, h of h1 of 1 plus h2 of n so it can be also equal to the multiplication that is x of n convolved with h1 of n plus x of n convolved with h2 of n okay, so how to uh, using the some block diagram suppose h1 of n and h2 of n parallel are there parallel connection and with this summation the overall response of here is i can say both are adding then we can say so there is a some overall response then we can convolve with these two remember generally we get in the exams two two parallel connections are given then overall impulse response or something overall, overall output response fine so whenever there is a parallel connections of this h1 of n h2 of n we can add simply 
next one is called uh, associative property now so what is this property says is x of n convolve with h1 of n convolve with h2 of n so it can also be written like this these two are convolving first then we are convolving with h x of n but we can say opposite also first we will convolve with these two then the resultant will be convolved with h2 of n like this x of n convolve with h1 of n convolve with h2 of n how to define using block diagram suppose two impulse responses are in cascade whenever there is a cascade we have to convolve to get overall response in the previous case whenever there is a parallel connections we have to add here whenever there is a cascade connections of two impulse responses where the resultant is convolution of these two signals now once we know w of n then we can find y of n is equal to x of n convolve with w of n similarly if you interchange this h2 of n here next to h1 of n here so this is also same that is w of n is now h2 of n convolve with h1 of n then resultant is like this remember whenever there is a parallel connections we have to add whenever there is a cascade connection we have to convolve with them right so this is about some properties and some equations for the the convolution summon convolution integral in the next video we will see how to find convolution